Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I'm a banking and a payment consultant. One of the things you will learn and come across in the crypto world a lot is the word called collateralized asset. Collateralized asset this, collateralized asset that. But what does a collateralized asset mean? In simple words, a collateralized asset is something of a stable coin. A stable coin is a collateralized asset. Why? Because you're issuing an asset on this, in this particular case, let's say you're issuing a digital asset. It could be a dollar equivalent coin on the blockchain. And then there's collateral that has been put aside for it. And this collateral could be $1 in a bank. So now you have an asset that has a collateralized, you know, control over it. I mean, there is collateral at some issuing authority that has it. And that's why it's called a collateralized asset. For example, what uh, Facebook is releasing, the FB coin in the Libra project is a collateralized asset. JP coin is a collateralized asset. Uh, the USDT is a collateralized asset. Circle's equivalent of a dollar online is the collateralized asset and so forth. So these assets that are issued digitally on the various blockchains have some collateral or, you know, uh, placed somewhere in an institution. The counterparty that has the asset and controls the collateral, you know, is something that is usually operating in a very closed system. It's not typically open. It's not decentralized in many cases. It's not something you have uh, access to. And the counterparty or the, or the asset controller who controls the collateral defines the rule usually. Let's say in case of, let's say, Facebook or in case of JP coin or in case of whatever the issuing authority in let's say JP coin JP Morgan's chases uh, you know JP coin they would be advising what the rules are because they control the asset they will tell it how it's supposed to operate what the rules are going to be etc and it's not like you could be sitting in China and you would have access to it or you could be sitting in Cuba or South America or in Mexico Brazil Uruguay wherever and you have direct access to who the controlling party is who the counterparty is where's the asset how is it collateralized etc those things would not be available to you because it happens to be in a closed system but collateralized assets are going to be extremely extremely important you're going to have a lot of privately issued collateralized assets you're going to have private banks issued collateralized assets you're going to have certain verticals issue collateralized assets you're going to have liquidity players come in and sort of bunch together collateralized assets and they may be special drawing right just like the imf has it or maybe a basket of collateralized assets and I'm sure there must be uh, someone waiting out there to make a derivatives market out of it but we won't go there and obviously you have the CBDCs based issued collateralized asset if you can even call it collateralized in some manner but you know collateralized assets are going to play a huge part going forward and it's very important to understand them. Uh, it is important to understand who the counterparty is. It is important to understand who the issuer is. It is important to understand how the rules are made, who, which nodes, etc., who will validate them or have a governance right or operational rights on that uh, blockchain and how that asset is traded and exchanged. And will it work with other exchanges or not? Or is it only going to work in a very specific ecosystem? These are some of the questions you should be asking and studying if you are going to go into the cryptocurrency world and be using collateralized assets. Anyways, I hope I, it was illuminating for you. Uh, there are many more videos on my channel. Please feel free to subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button. That would make me really happy. The YouTube comments are now open. If you have a question or a comment regarding business, you can contact me using the description form below. There's also a WhatsApp and I'll be happy to communicate using that. Till next time, stay safe. This is Faisal Khan signing off.